The 2021 Piaggio Beverly Piaggio celebrates the 20-year anniversary of its very own urban legend, the Beverly Scooter family. Billed as a crossover unit between the urban mobility and Gran Turismo categories, the new Beverly comes in a 300 and 400 model with new bodywork, updated suspension, all-around LED lighting, new saddle, and new hand controls. Both displacement sizes roll with new high-performance engines, HPE, that sport a Euro 5 emissions rating and a keyless ignition feature. 2021 Piaggio Beverly Design The design team at Piaggio completely reimagined its flagship high-wheel scooter model for a new look and improved performance. The design team at Piaggio completely reimagined its flagship high-wheel scooter model for a new look even while it maintains little Easter eggs throughout the build. Ties to the previous generations begin right out of the gate with a molded front fender and brand badging that leads the way. A new vertical feature on the visage can best be described as a high aspect, V, that comes complete with a blackout grille. The grille makes a connection to the sports car world and serves as a new version of the classic, necktie, element that has for so long marked Piaggio's products. You can go ahead and pencil me in as a fan, and if anything, I wish it was even larger and more prominent, but I'll settle with subtle. Pilot protection is better through improved protection in the leg guard area, and on the 400, there's a vented windscreen that punches an even bigger hole in the weather. All of the lighting is of the LED variety. The headlight housing is molded into the handlebar fairing much like the old school bikes, but the projectors themselves ride in a trapezoid arrangement that lends it a modern look. The turn signals, marker lights are flush mounted at the outboard edges of the leg shield in a boomerang shape that adds a bit of a chic finish to the finished product. A new, 5.5-inch LCD screen bundles all of the instrumentation together in one spot, and on the 400 model, it acts as the interface for Piaggio's proprietary infotainment system. The MIA system networks with your iOS or Android device via wireless Bluetooth connectivity. A keyless ignition allows for easy starts, but it also lets you unlock the seat, open the fuel door, and release the steering lock without ever pulling the key out of your pocket. Plus, it has a Find Me function that flashes the lights and blows the horn, you know, just in case you forget where you parked or something. You'll find a small glove box on the inner leg shield that rocks a USB port so you can power, charge your mobile device while underway. 2021 Piaggio Beverly Chassis Motorcycle-like suspension gives the Beverly a more sophisticated ride. Not even the bones were exempt from the extensive rework of the Beverly. High-strength steel members make up the double cradle frame with pressed sheet metal reinforcements that complete the standing structure. New Showa forks float the front end on 35mm stanchions, while out back, Dual coil over Showa shocks take care of business with a 5 position spring preload feature that represents the only ride quality tweak to be had on this pair. Oh, and this ain't one of those donut scooters either. The wheels run in a 16 inch diameter ahead of a 14 incher for almost motorcycle like dimensions, much to the benefit of the handling and ride. We find a divergence between the 300 and 400 in the hoops themselves. The 300 rolls with a 110 70ths ahead of a 140 70ths while the 400 bulks up a skosh with a 120 70ths up front and 150 70ths out back. The 300mm front brake disc is the largest in this bracket to provide plenty of stopping power, while out back a 240mm disc does its thing with all around, twin piston calipers and stock abs protection that lets you safely get the most out of the anchors. 2021 Piaggio Beverly Drivetrain Performance, reliability, and fuel economy were all front burner concerns with the new power plants. The new Beverly range comes powered by new HPE engines that deliver more juice than before, even while they run cleaner than ever with the coveted Euro 5 emissions rating. Both mills are four-stroke thumpers with four valve heads and a single overhead cam. They rely on liquid cooling to carry off the waste heat, which contributes to rider comfort as it reduces the apparent heat wash at stops. Performance, reliability, and fuel economy were all front burner concerns with the new power plants. After proving itself on the Vespa GTS and Piaggio MP3, 
the 300 HPE makes the jump over to the Beverly family and brings with it a 23% power boost for a total of 25.8 horsepower at 8 grand, while the torque saw a 16% boost up to 19.1 pound-feet of torque that maxes out at 6,250 revolutions per minute. The new 400 HPE engine brings even more yummy goodness to the table here in its debut year with 35.4 ponies at 7,500 revolutions per minute, backed up by 27.8 pounds o grunt. Based on the 350 engine, the 400 runs a longer connecting rod to boost displacement. Additionally, the 400 benefits from the positive crankcase ventilation feature that helps reduce pumping losses to maximize performance. A new, high-pressure fuel injector contributes as well, as does the low-viscosity, 5W40 oil and powerful Magneti Marelli ignition system with iridium plug to complete the package. Perhaps the most interesting feature is the Osser traction control, that is quite rare to see on scooters or even proper motorcycles at this displacement range. It provides a final layer of safety net, and cements the Beverly's place as one of the most advanced scooters currently available. Naturally, a continuously variable transmission carries power to the rear wheel with twist and go operation. 2021 Piaggio Beverly Price MSRP starts at €5.5,000 for the €306,400 for the 400. The new Beverly 300 HPE Euro 5 rolls in a trio of colors, cloud gray, moon white, or blue oxygen for €5,490. If you just have to have the big boy, the 400 draws from the same color palette with a €6,390 sticker. 2021 Piaggio Beverly Competitors In contrast to the classic Italian scooter design, the Beverly family sports a professional metro commuter mean, so since I had to find something comparable, I went to Yamaha for its XMA X300 Maxi scooter to see how it stacks up. Yamaha XMA X In the looks department I reckon these two are similar enough. Yamaha hits the street with an elegant and mature design, and goes even further in the pursuit of comfort by throwing a stock adjustable windshield on its entry, something the Beverly lacks. LED lighting marks the XMAX for effective two-way visibility, and the Yami comes with a 12-volt charging port to break even with the Italian ride in that respect. A luxurious seat promises to make the XMAX comfortable over long hauls with room below for groceries, books, whatever, but all of this is pretty standard fare. You know what isn't? The fact that the XMAX also rocks abs and traction control. That's right, on a 292cc machine to once again break even with the BEV. So far, Yamaha meets Piaggio at every point, and even manages to get a minor win at the till with its 5,129 euro sticker in the Italian market. Read our full review of the Yamaha XMAX. He said. Piaggio has a hit on its hands I think. Between the powered up mills and top shelf electronics, red, traction control, it brings a level of safety and peace of mind that is rare among scooters and enough to embarrass untold numbers of proper motorcycle makers. This family is a definite candidate for urban commuters and student transportation. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, this is a proper progression for this 20th anniversary of Beverly. The look is mature, and performance of the new HPE engines and Showa suspension bring motorcycle-like qualities to the scooter market. The Beverly is available in the US as the BV, but with different engines. Maybe next year Piaggio will bring the Beverly improvements to our market. 2021 Piaggio Beverly 300 Specifications 2021 Piaggio Beverly 400 Specifications if you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.